What up guys? What day do you think it is right now? It is Tuesday, March 15th. I don't know, can you see the people through there right there? Can you see those people through the fence? See them over here too as well? That's the Houston Astros guys. This is their spring training camp here in uh, Kissimmee, Florida. And see, I just happen to be going by it because there you go right there. Look at the game. They have a game right now going on. Can you see it in the stadium? I'll let this dude go by me so you can see it. There's the giant, there's their main stadium. So if you want to go watch any of the games, that's where they're playing at right there. So that's actually pretty cool. But anyways, what we're doing is we're actually heading over here right now because of what's going on today. It is the uh, second Super Tuesday or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. That's what they want to call it. And basically it's voting day for primary elections here in the state of Florida. So I'm doing my duty here and going to vote. Here we go, guys. It's packed because of the uh, games going on. See, vote here, Osceola County. So we are going to do our civic duty, call of duty, and vote because it is the right thing to do. So see, you're getting to see the stadium at the same time as I'm going to vote. So there you go. That's where the Houston Astros Spring Stadium is. Sadly, though, I think in the next, said the next year or two, they're moving down to Palm Beach to share uh, a new stadium with somebody else. So all these cars are not for voting. They're all here for the game. So that's why it's so packed. But I figured I'd bring you guys with me. Um, I don't really care who you vote for. I'm not going to turn this into a political video. I don't care which way you vote. I just believe that if you're American and watch my videos, you should get out there and vote. You know what? You, it, it's up to you who becomes president or not. And then when you guys complain later on that, oh my God, he's the president or she's the president. Well, then that's your own fault. You know what I mean? Because you didn't get out there and vote. For some reason, I always find that the people that complain the most about who's uh, president and stuff never actually voted. I'll just slide over here because I'm cool like that. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm not going to take the camera inside. Well, bam, look at that, guys. Osceola County, I voted. See what I mean? That's all it takes. It was literally you're voting for one person, no matter if you're Democrat or you're Republican. You just vote for, you know, who you want on your side. That's all it is in the state of Florida. You don't get to vote for the other side until the main election day. And that's it, man. It literally is one questionnaire. You walk in and do it. And uh, we're already done. So off we go. But that place right there where I just voted, that's where they have the Meekums auction, that's where they have, uh, I forgot, the Barrett Jackson auction will be held here at that giant place there. Um, you're going to see like the hot rod car shows here that I've had on video before on my Accord 79 channel. Everything is held here and then right behind it you see the stadium for the Houston Astros spring training and obviously you saw there's a game today. So you get to see a little bit of Kissimmee more than you normally would see, than I normally ride through. but. You know what? We got out and voted. You know, I just feel like that's your responsibility for people that have gone to war for you and that have given you the ability to even get out there and vote. You know, half the people that were in there, or over half I should say, didn't even speak English. They were all speaking in Spanish the entire time I was there. And whether they're new immigrants or whatever and their families have moved over here in the last 10, 15 years, they're at least out there voting and that says something. I see so many people where I work at UPS that those guys were said, oh, you know, I'll give you an example. I was out there one year and I was working on the sword aisle and all these guys just complaining about one person or another. I'm voting for this person. I'm not voting for another. And you know what? The first thing they did then, they came out there and then I said, okay, did you guys vote today? They're like, no. It was only me and one other guy out of 13 guys that were always talking about it only went and voted for president that day. And it didn't matter what side you voted for. The fact is they talked a big game and never actually backed it up. So what was the point of even voting? And what was the point of even bitching about one person or another's president? I don't get it, guys. Anyways, guys, this is not going to be a long soapbox video. I don't care one way or another what way you vote. If you're going to go out there and spam your, uh, you know, your, your beliefs, like uh, who you voted for, whether Democratic or Republican or whatever, and how the other ones are jerks, I'm just going to delete the comments. I'll tell you that right now. I just want to make a video saying that you need to get out there and vote. And that's it. And that's about the whole gist of this video is. I always do my part. I always go out there and vote when I can. And you can see the idiot drivers here in Kissimmee that clearly couldn't figure out. It's green. Look. Look at this shit. Look at this shit on his car. Wow, his car literally got shit on. 
Anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope you guys get out there and vote. Man, this bike is ridiculously fast. And I hope you all have a great week wherever you are. And if you have already voted, good for you. Just get out there and vote. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all at the very next video. Later, y'all.